morning, I'm Faye Thompson. This morning we're going to do some cheese biscuits for you. Most everybody likes cheese biscuits. We're going to start off with two cups of flour, and this is self-rising WR flour. We got one teaspoon of baking powder. I've already had this mixed in this bowl. Uh, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt. Be sure you don't put a teaspoon because I tried that one time and it's too much. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. My daughter said, you know I like garlic and cheese biscuit. I said, well, we just added to it. So we added it, it did help it. I like the garlic a lot better. So now we're gonna add one third cup of Crisco shortening. And we're gonna add two thirds cup of grated sharp, sharp cheddar cheese. Now I like to use a sharp cheddar cheese. I don't use that a lot for anything else, but I do here. And then we're gonna do one cup of cultured buttermilk. Now, I'm going to stir this up a little bit, but I'm going to have to get into it with my hands, too. So, just be patient with me a few minutes. I think it's about ready for me to do that. This works up fairly well. It's a little bit stiffer dough than a, than a biscuit. It's a biscuit. It's a cheese biscuit, but it's different from a regular biscuit. And be sure you use the sharp cheddar cheese. I've tried both, and I'm not a real big fan of the sharp cheddar cheese. Well, most of the time I'll use the mild and everything, but it, it is better in this biscuit. Okay, we have preheated the oven to 415 degrees, and uh, it looks like we're just about ready to put our biscuits in a well-greased pan. I've greased my pan with some Crisco shortening and what we're going to do is use a little ice cream scoop but you want to use one that's got the release inside it's a see the little release inside that helps you get the dough out so we're not going to use a full scoop uh, this makes should make about uh, 15 or 20 biscuits something like that and they're not going to be smooth like a regular biscuit there's a little difference in it. Okay, we need to brush these with some butter and garlic. We have a half a teaspoon of garlic and a fourth of a cup of butter. So we're gonna brush this on. You know, I like a cheese biscuit as a snack. Now we have the biscuits ready for the oven. They usually cook about 15 or 20 minutes. 